Alright, today we're taking off from Dare County and headed to First Flight Airport. We've got some heavy crosswinds coming from 330. It's about an 80 degree angle, so weather made it pretty hard. Alright, so you're supposed to steer into the crosswind with the yoke. Still learning, still learning. So we're going to climb out here to about 700, maybe 1,000 feet, make our left turn, loop around again towards First Flight Airport up at Kitty Hawk to the north, and we're going to climb on the way to about 3,000 feet, and we'll take a look back at the airport behind us. Uh, once we make our turn, we'll see if we get an idea of uh, how useful a simulator can be to orienting yourself in preparation for a real flight. Now this is a, a repeat of a, uh, the first flight that I ever did in real life, and just keep doing it <laughs> over and over. Well, you can set the time of day to whatever you want. There's even a setting to keep it matched to real time, which is what I usually do. I got up early to do a quick flight here before work and uh, see the sun, since it's been overcast here for a few days in real life. And you can see the airport to our left down there. We are currently parallel to the runway we took off. Alright, let's turn towards First Flight Airport now. We're at about 3,000 feet, so we're going to level off here, travel across the sound here, and start descending. You can see, you can almost see the runway out there. It's next to those lights, not the lights. It's a mistake I've made before on the sim. Time to start descending out of 3,000 down to pattern altitude of 1,000 feet. We're going to be at 1,000 flying parallel to the runway. visible and we are in the downwind leg. Maintain 1,000 feet here. Slow it down so we can add in some flaps. Keep it above around 62 knots for landing so that maybe a little higher for now. Turning right to our base leg. And I overshot a little bit. I pretty wide extended downwind here. And now we're turning from base to final now. So I'm descending down. I want to keep it above five, six hundred feet. There are power lines across the road that I want to watch out for. Trying to hold about 62 knots. Crosswinds are giving me some trouble here lining up. And the crosswind should should still be at a 330, so again, almost perpendicular to the runway. Uh, so it's throwing me around pretty good here. Probably be crabbing a little bit, pointing to the left, floating forward. Here come the power lines. We'll get over those and drop her in. There's the power lines. Right, let's line this up. Not great.
little too eager to get it on the ground there, but I'll take it. 